and uh, will he succeed maybe uh, if he is planning to maybe to discard some people along the way maybe some the only thing that can fail him uh -huh. it is the fact that Kenya is a nation is a country of God that's the only thing that will stop him from becoming mm -hmm. Kenya is a country of God so not until he is part of the plan of God if he goes out the plan of God I see Nebuchadnezzar when Jonah, mm -hmm. <laughs> when he was in a ship, mm -hmm. the ship had a lot of problems. Yeah, turbulences. And the turbulences. When he, he was removed, uh -huh. the stability came. So in God's plan, uh -huh. you are either in or out. Disclaimer, the opinions expressed by our esteemed guest on this show is solely their own and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Plug TV, its affiliates, or the production team. We kindly request our viewers to approach the opinions shared on this show with an open mind, considering them as individual viewpoints rather than absolute truths. We encourage you to conduct further research and engage in conversations beyond this program to form a well-rounded understanding of the topics discussed. Right now you're given an opportunity yeah. maybe to advise the president. Mm. What advice would you give him? I'll just ask him to surrender back to Jesus. <laughs> surrender back. Go back to Jesus. The Jesus who propelled him to power. Do you feel maybe he has forsaken him? Completely. He's not with God. Ruto is not with God. But he goes to church every Sunday. <laughs> Uh, which king is this? Saul was still praying to God. Yeah. But God had removed himself from him. All the kings you read in the Bible, they were first with God. They were put there until by God. In between until in came. between they turn away from God and God turns away from them. So in the beginning, the president was with God. Yes. It is God who propelled him. But along the way, he has dropped God. So right now, if you are given an opportunity when to... When you advice, had them seeking to pay preachers to come and preach, uh, to take preachers there, he would not have want, allowed those men and women of the clothes to go there. Mm. He would have left them to be intercessors mm. out there, interceding for him, supporting him, not going to dine with him, mm. forming a fellowship, and also not inviting American preachers to come because not a, no single American preacher was involved in praying for Ruto to become the president, mm. but Kenyans, the Mamambogas who are praying for him, mm. those are the people that he could have prayed. And again, if he was wise enough, he could not, when the king, king came, mm -hmm. king, king, the king of uh, UK, he was coming to reinstate the altar that had, we had already destroyed, the altar, the Freemason. Mm. Look at where they started. Mm. Where did he start? He never started from State House. Mm. He started from Uhuru Garden. Uhuru Garden, that is where the government was surrendered. The British government. Mm -hmm. That is where it was surrendered to Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. You see, that is where the Freemason lost it. Sir so Evelyn Berlin, that is where he lost it. So when the king came, he came and lit fire uh -huh. with Uhuru, with Ruto. Uh -huh. You saw that fire? Yeah, I saw it. Ayakisha Moto. He reignited the fire. Well, Yakisha literally so fire. Spirit, those were spiritual symbols. Those were spiritual. And people just so ignored. People were just putting their hands together. Nonsense. But they never knew the The man of it. was lighting fire. Alianzisha moto. Ambao ilikuwe mezimo. Akatoka hapo. That is when, after that, that's when he visited State House. Mm. Then from State House, he went to Mombasa Mamangina, there, mm. where they had another altar. And then he went to to secretly, he went to Kilimamboko. He was driven there to Kilimamboko to, to, to light up the, the altar. So for people, I think at the Moto, why fire? <laughs> Apostle, you never cease to amaze us. Wait, oh, oh, all right, okay, okay. <laughs> So, he, the president, what should he do? What should Repent he do? Repent and come back to God. That's the only thing. He does not need to do anything. Just tell him to go back to Jesus. 
Hey. When the kind the God he was worshiping when he was in Karen set house. Yeah. Alete huyo Mungu hapa. And then the next step I'll maybe after I, if he doesn't repent what will happen? Ah, so you know obviously what God will do to him. He will be Nebuchadnezzar. He will be taken swiftly. Yes. He will be a Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> but how will you know that he has repented? Maybe he has been repenting. We don't need repenting. to know. We don't need to know. God will confirm. We don't need to know. But we will feel it. Kenya will feel it. When the king is righteous, the nation becomes righteous. When the king is dirty, the entire nation becomes dirty. Wow. Thank you. Now, apostle on another case that you have been noticing, yeah. um, ever since the current government entered into power, we saw uh, different people being put in different places, in different offices. And one of the things that has raised alarm in the country is the amount of um, you are seeing more people from the Rift Valley taking over offices and uh, we are seeing other people being neglected somehow. Mm. According if you take a look at this list of these government leaders. Mm. What can you When say you have that? a long-term plan, mm. you put long-term allies. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that is just a, a strategic move by it's the president. It's a strategic plan. You know, Ruto is a master planner. Mm. Ruto, with the planning, is good. He, can, he plans one week plan, one month plan, one year plan, mm -hmm. ten year plan, and a 50 year plan. He has all the plans. I'm going to use you from this level to this level. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to pick this one to this. I'm going to do this. He's a smooth operator. And uh, will he succeed maybe uh, if he is planning to maybe to discard some people along the way? Maybe some. The only thing that can fail him, uh -huh. it is the fact that Kenya is a nation, is a country of God. That's the only thing that will stop him from becoming. Mm -hmm. Kenya is a country of God. So not until he is part of the plan of God, if he goes out of the plan of God, I see Nebuchadnezzar. So you are an apostle. I'm, I'm, a, I'm 100% sure you see things spiritually. What do you foresee about the country? A near rapture. A near rapture, what do you mean? Tribulations. Tribulations. Instability. Misukosuko. Mm. There's no hope. There's a lot of hope. Kenya is a nation of God. So uh, there's going to be tribulations. When Jonah, mm -hmm. <laughs> when he was in a ship, Mm -hmm. The ship had a lot of problems. Yeah, turbulences. And the there. turbulences. When he was removed, uh -huh. the stability came. So in God's plan, uh -huh. you are either in or out. When you are in and you are not supposed to be there, to, uh, turbulations. When you are thrown out, calm comes. You you are you are speaking on metaphorical. I'm speaking manner. hallelujah language. Uh, yeah. Yes, we're hallelujah. speaking proverbs here. I'm speaking hallelujah language. That that one is left for other people to interpret it on their own personal Come level. Come next time, ask me that question. <laughs> <laughs> now, apostle. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Apostle, given a chance, if if you shift your focus to to the former president, uh, he, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm. If you met him today, what would you tell him? I will tell Kenyatta to become an elder, mm. to stop being a boy. Why now? He's behaving like a boy. What has he done? When you are retired, the president, you go and rest home and become an elder to advise. But he has been resting. No, he's been moving around. He's the one that is finding all, finding all these activities you are seeing in Central Province. They're the one fin financing. But you say the Ruto has an un, uh, an hand in it. Yes, uh -huh. but to some other extent, on the other side, they are not. I'm not saying entirely on minor, uh -huh. but there have been so many activities. Uh -huh. We had the people 
Raida with these people moving around throwing stones. Mm. It was Raida. That's was Uhuru, not Raida. Have you ever had Raida giving out money? And I think the only money Raida can give is when he's being taken to hospital and they pay a bill. But he will still call a governor. <laughs> I'm going to hospital, pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot give you anything. <laughs> anyway. Mm -hmm. So for for the president, the former president, he should relax. So he should um, I would love him mm -hmm. to be part of the community elders mm -hmm. in central Kenya mm -hmm. and also rise above the community, mm -hmm. become the elder of this nation because he's still young. Mm -hmm. And uh, become a pillar of this nation, mm -hmm. become a father mm -hmm. that will instill the discipline, the culture of this nation, mm -hmm. a person that in the, in the event uh, we are demoralized, we can run to him, mm -hmm. he can speak to the nation. You can see that Obama is making statements. Yeah. Very good. Everybody is mm -hmm. encouraged by what Obama is doing because he is not attacking, he is just embracing. Yeah. yeah. That I will I want to have a soft hand mm. on the Kenyans and the Kenyan politics, the Kenyan economy. I will I will love that he will be meeting people around eating goats somewhere in Nyere, mm. going to Kisumu and finds those who mama mama school wa, wa, the Samakis there, he will eat with them freely intermingle with them, like the Tanzania presidents, former presidents, mm. how they live. And uh, when there is a huge problem in the country, he will come in. Mm. And uh, you know when Mukapa came to Kenya during the PEV, mm -hmm. we were able to listen to him. Yeah. He was not a president, yeah. but he was able to bring down the pressures of the nation. Mm. Yeah, because he's an elder. That is what we should become a statement's elder. Mm. That all of us we can look upon him. Every person in the country can go to him and uh, talk to him. All the politicians, if they have a problem, mm -hmm. maybe you need a father, a father a father response to us for your problem, mm. you go to who and who will just say uh, And uh, for the opposition leader, yeah. any word for him? Who is the opposition leader now? Raila Odinga. Is he an opposition leader really? He's still his. He calls the shots. He, yes, he calls the shot, but he's not a leader. He's a, a leader without a crown. What you call, just ask me, not giving a title opposition leader, give me this title. How would you? The former prime minister, yeah, not Raila. the former, remove former. Uh, uh, we have had so many formers. No, in, in even Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta was the former. He, he, Jomo Kenyatta is the former prime minister. Nisa, uh, but Mumba was former prime minister. He's a recent former prime minister. Remove that. I know you. I know you. You know you are a friend of Baba. Remove those things. <laughs> remove and let make this man happy. Wacha tu wacha kumufunga daipa mbae hana hii haiwezi kumutoshea. Wacha kumake this man happy. He's but our grandpa. He no, is a just, legendary. Yes, yeah. a legendary. Like any other. In the Kenyan politics. <coughs> He's a legendary. I'm, I don't deny that. They normally call him the enigma. Yes, give him such a name. Not a former prime minister. That is so demeaning. That's too small for him. This man is international. Oh, okay. This man, he goes to Germany, Germany will receive him. He goes to America, America will receive him. He's an enigma. Uh -huh. Give him a better name, not a former prime minister, not a, a, an opposition. He's no longer op in opposition. He's a world... Above that. He's above that. Okay. Lift him up. Okay. Okay, sir. So, okay. You are destroying your father. You are destroying your grandfather. <laughs> Give him a better name. Okay. Put so, him there. So... Like uh, Kofi Annan. Uh -huh. Yes. So... According to you, if you met him today, what would you tell him? He become an international father. Mm. Yes. Should he focus with the Kenyan politics? He should only focus in the Kenya. He form a league of elders mm -hmm. with the Kenauhuru, the elders who are there, the people who have been in politics. Mm -hmm. Then they form a council of elders mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. where if they come and speak as a council of elders mm -hmm. and then he becomes their chairman. Mm -hmm. and he speaks like a council of elders. This country is not moving in the correct direction. Why? In the economy, they are given advisory mm -hmm. economy. In the social, they give an advisory on that. They create a caucus of elders, 
eminent eminence you know they call them eminent persons mm -hmm. is this eminent or what they call it? prominent persons, not a, from mm -hmm. eminence mm -hmm. eminent person mm -hmm. people with stature mm -hmm. that these people if they speak the nation will listen mm -hmm. if they say this is a direction without being biased mm -hmm. without being biased mm -hmm. without saying ruto has done without saying they say mm -hmm. the state of the nation is not moving the direct good direction mm. as fathers of the nation mm. woo, kenya will go why is europe europe so successful mm -hmm. those elders they gave a direction to the nation mm. yes wow that was uh, the legendary apostle dura waruingi <laughs> we call you i'm not an enigma <laughs> uh, you are you're not a former can we call you a former mungiki leader uh, mungiki was mungiki term means the multitude mm. i'm still controlling the multitude i'm still, still have a say i still have a say but talking about that issue when some of these young men were arrested and locked up in the police cell they sang those mungiki songs inside they the police sang, they sang kikuyu songs yeah. not mungiki songs mungiki but have, those songs mungiki never heard their songs those songs were associated with the, with the, Mau, with the Mau Mau and uh, my, my grandfather is the founder of my Mau when i hear somebody singing the what my grandfather was singing mm -hmm. i say hallelujah but somehow these songs were identified by this mungiki it's sect. because some people somewhere wanted to brand them they are bad people mm -hmm. yes we were branded and it's okay and uh, there was an achievement on that i don't care but the most important thing is that the kikuyu's traditional song mm -hmm. are not demonic mm -hmm. yes Wow, that is uh, the the uh, former Mungiki leader. I mean, still, oh, you still? Uh, no, I'm not Mungiki leader. But say, I'm not Mungiki leader. I'm Apostle Dora Waringi. Uh, yeah, yes. Apostle Dora Waringi. Yes. Your church is your church's name is the church is the synagogue. Yeah. We are based at Coffee Plaza mm -hmm. Mezzanine floor. Mm -hmm. The entire Mezzanine we have there. Mm -hmm. Yes. People can reach. Uh, uh, yes, people can reach me on zero seven two 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 three nine. Triple five zero seven two 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 three nine triple five, or come to the church. I have one on one meeting uh -huh. on Sunday. I invite you for the service. Wonderful, miracle, full of miracles, uh -huh. and full of the teaching of the Word of God. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Mm -hmm.